Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. So everybody, how's everybody in the chat doing? I, I, I haven't been able to get to, to every single message. Um, yeah, how, how y'all doing? Okay, first let's start with... On Earth. Oh, Human right, she wanted to meet military on the cabin. Force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can, the battle space. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian War. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? Right, I forgot she wanted to do that. I'll make sure to do that. I'll do that before we go on to the mission, I guess. Bro. Thank you, Commander. I have seen a Reaper die before my eyes. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. What's that? Oh, it's the lady they bribed. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, it is indeed the lady they bribed for a good review. Yeah, she's not the greatest voice actor by, uh, not by quite a stretch. Uh, why couldn't she and the, uh, situation have been, uh, been sacrificed in place of Lee? She <laughs> doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. I'm Edie doesn't go pilot with the Normandy. She is on this the one. Normandy. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Jessica Chobot, the, um, the IGN uh, game reviewer getting hired to, uh, to voice act uh, a game and then review it. No conflict of interest there. No, not at all. Those FBA couplings you got last tour are still holding up. Thanks again, Commander. Nothing to report. Vast Normandy. Can't be. No. Well, I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. From Rannoch. In the old days, I'd sent any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping, setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. 
They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. That's amazing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with get improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Ravok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Anytime. Just let me know if you let a Geth upload itself in there. <laughs> no. The only person who gets inside my suit is Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing stands between us now. Whatever the galaxy throws at us, I'll be at your side. By the way, I left something for you up in your cabin. Go have a look. Was it they should have used Emily Wong instead of her? Yeah, I agree. I think I think they should have brought back Emily Wong for, for that part, definitely. And uh yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to be getting up in that suit later. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we'll just go down to to one more level. Right, I think I know what she left it in in my room. It was her her photograph, which again that was a little bit of a cop out. But wait a second. Oh, he's over here. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rana. Yeah, head up against the defenseless jammy tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, we hope you have some training for us. Not fire. This for dropping the char and the right two in the hot sauce. And if you still have the attitude, we'll be picking you up again. James. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board and we can finally focus on the Reapers. 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. Yeah. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside a Geth. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Was it, uh, I'd even take, uh, Kalish Al uh, Jelani over Cho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Nordy needs a punching bag. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Oh, no, I hear that. Oh, God, yes, and I remember, I remember people try, uh, tried to connect that line that he just used, uh, that, that, do you hear that hum line? They tried to use that as a supporting element for the that fucking indoctrination theory, which is I, I bought into that at first, but once you get too 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 deep into it, it's totally ridiculous. But uh, the robot, uh, the robot dog. Oh, the robot dog. Yeah, the robot dog, as well as this um, this hoodie that I'm wearing, was a. Uh, the, those were a couple of bonuses that I got as a result of pre-ordering uh, the game when it first came out. Trainer, can you send up Diana mm -hmm. Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies? And no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? Um, Geth are, are misunderstood. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attack them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. 
but you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Uh, the Geth have uh, been upgraded. The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Was it part of the deluxe edition? Uh, yes, yes, that's right. It was part of the deluxe edition. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, to, to say that, to say that I was excited about this game when it first came out is a bit of an understatement. But uh, and then that was, of course, you know, met with the original ending, and you all know how the rest of it goes. But thankfully, the extended cut was just enough to unbreak the game for me. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Oh, I didn't even—I oh, didn't even know that was an option. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or...? Did you think about it before accepting? Um, I thought about it. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Mm -hmm. Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Was that um, Vega? Isn't he voiced by uh, the situation? Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly. I never thought to look that up. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hell yeah. 
Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks Ooh. again, loco. Anytime. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's not an invitation, Vega. And that's what Tally left for me. Again, cool idea. It was a nice thought, but I wish they had put more effort into it. So this is canon. This is what Tally looks like with the mask off. Yeah, I think, I think fans of the game um, found the original stock photo in like an hour after the game's release or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically the, uh, they found a, a stock photo online and, the, and then they photoshopped it. Uh, sorry, sorry the, the, that's what Bioware had done. They had found this stock photo and then they photoshopped it to look like their version of a Quarian and said, there, that's Tally's face. I don't know. I, st I think I still would have preferred if they had actually, you know, done a 3D rendering of what a Quarian looks like without a mask on. But, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's... Actually, before, before I go down there... Private terminal, uh... Yeah, let's just see what my what my mission uh, what my mission summaries are. Okay, so I've got a bunch of Citadel ones. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so we got a ton, a ton of of these ones to do on the Citadel. So maybe we'll go there next. Priority Citadel. Uh, N7 fuel reactors, and then there's probably a couple of those ones where I go around, you know, shooting probes in space, which, eh, I could do without those, to be honest. Alright, to the Citadel. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.